Hey, welcome to this video. You arrived here, probably starting for a review of still white, so go over how it works and be my two cents, whether I think it's a good use of your time. Now, I'm always, as a seller, now I'm always coming up with videos like this, so consider subscribing, and if you'd like my free training on the number one simplest, fastest way to earn a full-time income from home, you can click the link below, you'll see my email opt-in page. Enter your best email, I could send you my free training if you want. Still wait, let's dive in. So what this is, basically, it's a platform to allow you to sell your previously worn wedding dress. Now, Still White has been around since 2010. It's the largest wedding dress marketplace out there. Um, some stats that might interest you are they get over a million visitors per month. And I get the impression most of those visitors are buyers, not sellers. So your chances of making a sale seem to be pretty good as long as you ha you're asking for a reasonable you know, price and you're patient. Um, and they have around 63,000 wedding gowns listed on here. Uh, they've sold... $64 million worth has been sold through Still White um, over the years, and they have a very good reputation in the industry. Um, you know, 4.8 stars on the Apple Store, 4.7 on the Google Play Store. And some of the pros with this website um, or platform are um, there's no ongoing fee, it's just a one time fee, uh, $20 or $30, depending on the type of listing uh, you decide to put on here. Um, and it's listed, you know, forever until it's sold or you want to take it down. Um, very, It's a very secure platform. They give you different tools like, you know, statistics, live statistics to help you sell. Um, and also their support is quite good. You'll hear, you should hear back from them within 24 hours if you have a question. The only real con, I would say, is there's no guarantee of selling um, or getting a worthwhile offer on here, right? But that's with any platform. You might be able to get, you know, 60% of the retail price uh, within a week, you know, if you're lucky. But then other people have had their items, their dresses listed on here for over a year and and then they didn't get a decent offer, right? Maybe like 20%. So it just depends, you know, it depends on the brand, the, uh, you know, the, the any wear and tear, how old the dress is, and also just how the market is doing in general. Now, how it works as a seller is very simple. You just want to come down to how it works at the bottom. And just to save us time, I've already pulled this up. And um, you so you create a listing. You can have up to four. This left side is the for sellers. So create a listing. You can have up to four photos uh, per listing. And for the, with the $20 option, if you go with the $30 option, you can have up to eight photos and a video. So maybe that's something you want to consider. Um, Make sure the lighting is good. You're taking photos from different angles. Um, fill out a short description and you want to use as many adjectives as possible. So give the size, the, you know, material, uh, cover, uh, colors, you know, brand. And just the more descriptive you can be, the better it is for the potential buyer because they know what to expect. And also the, you know, better it is for, for you because you'll get more visibility, right, and views. And, um, and, you know, maybe look around, see what other people are charging on this platform, get a ball, ballpark figure, and then you can choose your own price. You can price it at whatever you want. Um, but if you charge, I would say, 20 to 10 to 20% less than what other people are charging, that's going to significantly increase your odds of selling, right? Because people tend to tend to shop around and go for the best bargain. So, And then you should start receiving messages. So, right, yeah, receive messages. You'll chat with prospects via their live uh, chat feature tool and um, negotiate a price. You know, that's totally up to you, your discretion. Once you have agreed on a price with the buyer, the buyer uh, will pay um, several options. You can, it's up to you how you want them to pay. Still Wait recommends PayPal, and that's what I would recommend as well. It's the simplest. Um, if you're meeting in person, because sometimes, you know, maybe a buyer lives in your city, then I would probably go with cash. So now once a buyer pays, Still Wait will email you a prepaid shipping label and you'll just need to box it and ship it, drop it off, you know, by dropping it off at your nearest um, uh, track uh, postal office and then also include a tracking number that they'll give you. The post office and also the buyer is paying for shipping you don't have to worry about any shipping costs and um, now still wait says that you should probably purchase insurance um, i don't know if you want to do that but that's something to consider 
you know, in case something get, in case it gets damaged. Um, and that's basically how this process works in a nutshell. So now, uh, one thing you might want to check out is there they have a tool where you can estimate what you'll be getting. So I typed in Eva Lendell. Let's say retail price is thirteen hundred dollars. You get seven hundred twenty dollars. This is still White's estimate. You know, I, I find with these tools, usually they're quite optimistic in their estimates. So I would even subtract, you know, you know, ten or twenty percent from that, right? So, but so yeah, that's not bad. And it also depends how patient you are, how long you want to list it, right? Uh, or do you just want to get rid of it as quickly as possible? So now, um, and that's it. So that's how it works. Now, Still White is a perfectly good platform if you want to sell your used wedding dress. Now, one of the big complaints people have is that after the first day of posting their listing, they find that um, it sinks to the bottom of the pile really quickly. Now you can pay an extra fifteen dollars to boost your listing, but I'm here, you're here because you want to make money, not to spend money. I'm assuming, right? So, and that can get expensive if you're doing that every day or every week. Now, the only other option uh, to still wait if you aren't able to sell or get a you know a good offer on here is you could um, sell at a local consignment store in your city. Um, if you have one, but you'd have to drive out to the store, right? And you probably, and they probably wouldn't offer you that much money. Or you could try to sell it on an open marketplace like Facebook Marketplace or eBay or Amazon, for that matter. Some of these big platforms, they uh, they do charge expensive listing fees. I believe eBay charges 10%, but um, but they also allow you to. But they also have lots of traffic and it's it might be easier to get visible. I know eBay allows you to boost your listings for, I believe it's $1. Um, very cheap. And, and so that's something you might want to consider to get more exposure. But you can post on all these platforms. There's no rule saying that you can't do that. So anyway, that's my two cents. You could take it for what it's worth. But look, maybe you're here not necessarily because you just want to sell a wedding dress and maybe earn a few hundred dollars. Uh, or maybe even a few thousand dollars one time, because that'll be exciting, but it's not going to change your life, allow you to you know, quit your job, travel the world, or retire early, or anything like that. Maybe you're here because you want to earn real money, you know, 20, 50, 100 dollars an hour plus, you know, consistently and over the long term. And maybe work from the comfort of your own home. If that's the case, what I suggest is click the link below. You'll see my email opt in page. Enter your best email. I could send you my free training that'll detail a business model that you can do 100% from home. It's very simple. You don't need any special skills or credentials to get started. The profit margins are very high. The startup costs are very low. And even if you only have one or two hours a day to build this out, because I'm assuming you have a full-time job or you're busy, uh, you, you can absolutely do that with just one or two hours a day. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope to see you on the other side of that link, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.